big four fives. I give me your wireless cut in your head. You think I'm a stylist? I'm a gorilla. Welcome in air signs, Libras, Aquarius, and Geminis. Welcome to Oshun's Tarot Garden. You're chilling with the biggest of the biggest, your big Oshun. And today I'm coming to you guys with an energy shift reading. What's that? Well, basically we're going to talk about the end of November's energy and going into December's energy. Um, Kind of like a spiritual challenges or what your spiritual lesson is going to be about. Um, I know usually I talk about love, finances, and life and touch on everything. But it seems like there's lessons that we're closing out with that you guys need to know. Okay. Now, this is specifically for the sun signs. But, you know, if you have these placements anywhere else in your chart, feel free to watch because we don't always operate out of our sun energy. Um, however, you know, just take what resonates for you. Oh, man. I don't know why, but I keep picking up. Purity is coming for my air sign. I don't know exactly what spirit is saying, but purity is coming. Pureness is coming, okay? Maybe this is pure love, pure friendships. Um, you know, maybe this is clean, clean, cleanliness or whatever it may be. It just seems like some purity. Maybe this is a fresh start for a lot of you guys that I'm picking up on. But um, yeah, that's just what came to my mind for you guys, okay? So... I'm really feeling this is the energy from actually I feel like November 20th today all the way until the 28th is what I'm hearing. This is basically an eight day energy and then it's going to start. I feel like December's energy shift is going to start um, on the 31st and I feel like you're going to be like in a void, a void area between the 29th and the 30th. And then if there's a 31st, I'm not even sure. But anyways, the last day of the month going all the way into December 22nd. I don't know why December 22nd is the day, but I feel like there's the energy carries out until then. Now, if you catch this video after December, it could be telling you what you went through, if it resonates. If it doesn't, we tell you what to expect around the same time frame of next year. Now, when you catch this video, whether it's 2024, 27, 28, 26, 25, it does not matter. It will matter it, it, it's just going to be for the time frame of what to expect with the transition of November to December. Whenever it finds you, it's meant to find you. Even if you find it in April of 2024, it's going to still be allowing you to know what to expect for the end of the year of 2024. You catch my drift? All right. So we're going to go ahead and start by pulling a card. Ooh, why do I feel like y'all stressed out? There's a lot of tense energy here for my uh, air signs here. Um, we're going to see the card. What is the lesson? What is this lesson? The important lesson that you guys are wanting air signs to know for December. Okay, what is the important lesson that you're wanting my air signs to know for December? We have Aquarius, Gemini, Libras. What is the message? Nothing wants to come out for you guys. Maybe they feel like there's no lesson for you. All right, there we go. Keep going. Have we not heard this enough, air signs? It says, it may feel as though you've been on this path or journey for so long, and you may even wonder if you're making any progress towards your dreams. This is a message. I'm sorry. This message is a loving reminder for you to keep going. You are almost there. You are almost there. And I feel like that's why that void is there. That void that's coming in the 29th, the 30th or whatever, or the 28th and the 30th or just the 30th itself, whatever it may be. The void that you're going to be feeling is basically, I feel like, a black hole sucking out the, the surrounding energies, um, everything that's been around you, that's been engulfing you, and is basically giving you a clear, a clean slate, a clear start. And I feel like a lot of clarity is coming in for you guys starting December 1st. I feel like a lot of um, awakenings are coming visually where you're able to see the things that you want and desire. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be touching a lot of things, touching a lot of money, touching a lot of people. Um, I feel like a lot of access is being granted to you guys right now. There's a level up that is coming and you're so close. They're saying don't turn around now. Um, it's going to take more energy running down than it is just to take a few more steps and get to your blessing that is on the way. Okay, so keep going. You are almost there. There is 
blessings of abundance, blessings of love, things that she feel like you want to give up on. I feel a strong sense of nine of wands, of just just being tired, being exhausted um, mentally, emotionally, physically, um, feeling like you've exerted so much and you just don't know when the return is going to come. And I feel like a lot of you guys are to a place where you just kind of just want to sit down and you just, you just feel slumped. You feel like there's no resolutions. There's there's nothing to see anymore or you can't be there for people anymore or whatever it may be that's draining you. If it's work, if it's family, if it's friends, if it's love, if it's loneliness, if it's money, whatever it may be, if not one or all. Um, I just feel Spirit is saying, don't tap out now. Don't give up now. Um, your blessings are closer than you think. They're just taking a little while longer to get there. Okay? So... With that being said, we're going to tap in and see what the energies are. I feel like somebody's been smoking a lot. You've been smoking a lot of weed? You've been smoking a lot of cigarettes? Or you've been drinking more? Somebody's been do using their vices a little bit more this month because something seems a little bit overwhelming. Okay, somebody has been, yeah, somebody has really been pouring into their vices this month. Okay, Spirit is saying, stop. Spirit is saying, make me your vice. Make me what you run to. Make me what you call to. Okay, I don't know why air signs every time I get to you guys, I feel like I need to preach to you guys like you guys seriously need the gospel. I'm going to tell you right now what's coming unto my heart, to my Libras, to my Aquarius and my Geminis. Get your gospel playlist. Let go of the R&B, let go of the rap, let go of the country, let go of the rock and roll, let go of whatever it is that you usually listen to. I don't give a fuck if it's Neo Soul. I don't give a fuck if it's the flute. Of Andre 3000, Spirit is saying for three to seven days, just solely meditate to spiritual, even if it's gospel instrumentals, listen to gospel music, um, even get back into your Bible. I know a lot of people don't like to use the Bible because of its affiliation to church, but it's a spell book. There is things in there that you need to know. Okay, if you don't want to read the Bible, they're saying turn on that gospel music and connect with ancestors. Dance, praise, dance, dance, shimmy. If you want to twerk to the gospel music, twerk to the gospel music. But it's saying you need this poured into you. There's some releasing that needs to happen so that you can keep going. It feels heavy going up those steps and moving forward because you're carrying a lot of emotional baggage. And it's time for you to weep it out. It's time for you to talk it out, not with anybody else, but with God. It's time for you to hear the messages in these gospel songs so that you can release the weight of emotions, release the weight of mental stress, release the weight of whatever it is that is not bound to you, that is not for you, so that you can make it up these last couple of steps and walk through your breakthrough, okay? So what do I have for my air signs for the energy of November, the end of November? What do I have for the energy of the end of November? Lovers. Okay, true experience here. And what do we have for December? The energy for December. Okay. Gemini's, y'all showing up. Y'all showing up. The rain don't last forever. The sun is coming out for you guys in December here. I see it. You have the sun card. There is somebody coming in with a hand, whether it's spirit, whether it's a spiritual hand or whether it's a physical hand, there is some kind of assistance that is coming in for you, Libra. There's some kind of gift that you're about to receive, Libra. There is something that's coming to an end and you're being pulled through, Libra. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, all of you guys are being pulled through. You're being elevated up. Your, your hand, there's a hand, there's an outreach that's coming towards you. I feel like a spiritual outreach program is coming towards you guys, okay? They're pulling you out of the darkness. They're pulling you, you know, you've been walking through these steps in this darkness, um, and it makes me think of, you know how y'all see that lady that's walking up the blocks that has the baggage on? And I feel like, like I said, listening to this gospel music is allowing you to put down expectations, allowing you to put down the envy, allowing you to put down what you feel like you've lacked or what you haven't accomplished, and allowing you to, you know, be able to stand up straight and be able to have your hands um, 
not have the boxes in them, but to have your hands open to be able to either grab the doorknob or allow spirit or whoever is put in your way to grab your hand and pull you through when you feel like you just can't make it through the last few steps because spirit doesn't want you to give up. Spirit wants you to keep going. And if you feel like you can't keep going because you feel like you're burnt out, spirit is saying, call out to me so that we can be your shining knight in armor so we can bring you the light and darkness and pull you through to the light at the end of the tunnel. You're basically at the end of the tunnel, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, okay? You're right there, and it's a lot that's coming in. There's help that's coming in. There's restoration that's coming in. Whatever you've been lacking, whatever you've been crying for, whatever you've been manifesting, whatever you've been praying for, whatever you've been trying to attract, like I said, it's coming, but it's been coming slowly. And God says, I see you. I see you, but I need you to have the faith to know that I'm going to redeem you with everything that you need okay your struggles your frustrations the torment that you went through the hell that you went through the the losses that you that you've had the the, the everything that's been ripped away from you or everything that you've been deprived of the spirit is saying like you didn't go through that for nothing it's time to redeem all those tears redeem all those emotions redeem all those frustrations and now you're going to see the light. Now you're going to start seeing your blessings. Now you're going to start seeing your fruition come in in December. And it's setting the tone for the new year. So Christmas may be what people think is giving the gifts to those around you to show that you love. But Christmas for you, air signs, is the universe giving you the gifts that you need to, to move forward into this new year so that you will not lack. Okay? The energy for the end of November here, we have the lover's card. Okay, so a lot of you guys are getting into a vibe of learning how to um, embrace the uncertainties, embrace your higher self, trusting with yourself. There could be relationships that are coming in. There's buildings that's coming in. Um, I feel like you guys are really in an, in an experience here. And the experience doesn't feel comforting. It doesn't feel loving. But spirit is saying that it's okay. You feel out of place. You're going to be feeling out of place. You're going to feel kind of burdened or whatever it may be. But you're almost there to the sun side. You see how the hand is out and the hand is here? They're getting ready to grab you and pull you through. You're not alone. Spirit says you're not alone. Don't worry about it. You're not. All right. So, all right, air signs. Let's go ahead and see. Let's get some clarity about this lover's card for the month of November, the end of November. Can I get that lover's card energy clarity? Okay. You have the two of swords with the six of cups already here, um, air signs. It is releasing the past, releasing past values, your thoughts, okay? Releasing the na naiveness. Um, I just feel like the decisions to give to yourself, to pour into yourself, um, you cannot keep giving more than you have here. Um, I know this is six of cups, but I feel a lot of the six of pentacles energy here. And I feel like a lot of you guys are reminiscing about how much you gave and the decisions that you've, you know, how much you've given and like the decisions that you've made and, and you're thinking about the, what do you call it? You're thinking about... I don't want to say response, but you're, you're, you're thinking about what happened or what was the reaction to the decisions that you made. And you're thinking about why you're in these situations and the experience is becoming alive to you. Um, you're finally seeing, you know, like, okay, I am in this position because I decided to do this. And you're making decisions not to nurture certain things. You're making decisions to leave the past and, and the things that, you know, you've learned your lesson and you're just deciding to move forward here. Um, you're disconnecting from past things that no longer serve you. You're disconnecting from family values. You're disconnecting from family. You're disconnecting from past lovers. You're disconnecting from anything that doesn't show any worth. Um, you're going back to being your true self and going after what it is that you want to go after. I'm hearing that um, no one can stop me. So you're going back after your dreams. So some people could be going back and starting that business. Um, somebody could be going back to school. Somebody could be, you know, 
whatever it may be you had goals to lose weight back in the day and then you got distracted or whatever or you, you start worrying about other things you're starting to go back to those things that you wanted to do it gives me the vibe of kind of satisfying your inner child and doing things you know what why can't i have ice cream for dinner if i want to have ice cream for dinner because i grew up learning that ice cream wasn't something that you have for dinner it's only something that we could have on sundays after church after dinner you know you're no longer allowing the past to control your future whether this is things that tormented you from the decisions that you made or how you were raised i feel like a big release is here you're no longer feeling responsible for certain things here you have the five of wands here you're no longer going through the complications you're no longer arguing and battling yourself okay let's see yeah, you got these sixes here. So you could be seeing 666 or 66 um, quite often. I feel like you're no longer overthinking, reminiscing about things, reminiscing about where you could have been, how things used to be. Yeah, you're letting go. You're closing out those cycles of memories. You're closing out those cycles of reminiscing. You're closing out those cycles of the past, okay? You're falling into alignment here. That's why you have that void. That void is you trying to get used to this new setting of the... I don't care about that anymore. Some of you guys could be changing your phone number, changing your location. Some of you guys could be just unbothered, unbothered about things anymore. People could be trying their best to pull on your energy, be trying your, their best to get your attention, unblocking you, doing whatever, sending text messages, sending messages. And you know what? They feel it, that you're just unbothered. You don't care anymore. If it doesn't align with what I want to do and the decisions that I want to make moving forward, if it doesn't make me happy, if it doesn't please my inner child, if it doesn't, if it's something that is going to detour me, I'm going to keep going past it. I'm not looking back. I could care less. I have somewhere to be. I have somewhere to be, and I can't keep moving backwards off of the strength of things from the past, off of the strength of the fears of the past. I am solely no longer linked to the fears of failure, fears of being like mom, being like dad, being like grandma, being like grandpa, being like uncle. I cannot keep having these fears of, you know what? It doesn't matter if I do this because nothing's going to change. I'm not going to keep settling in the family business. I'm going to do what I want to do. And you're getting, you, you're finally having that, that rude awakening, that true experience, that enlightenment that you have been lacking. You're starting to see things for what they really are. Not the veil being lifted off of your face, but the mask of people that you're able to see through now and see their true intentions, their true colors, their true emotions, and what they truly stand for. And now you're realizing I don't gotta deal with that bullshit no more. And you're you're ready to move forward. Okay? So as we go into December, tell me what this sun card is about. Look at that. Ten of swords. It really came in reverse. And what I want to say here is that the ten of swords is that all that gossiping, all that back and forth, all of that um back and forth in your head, was I wrong? Should I do this? All of that gossiping behind your back, all of that backstabbing from people, like I said, you're seeing the mask, all of that is coming to an end. And honestly, with the reverse, I feel like Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, you could give zero fucks. May they karma whoop their ass is what you're saying. May the karma whoop their ass. You have no time to try to, to justify, to figure out why or what. You're ready to move on. That void was making you uncomfortable because... You're so used to worrying. You're so used to double backing. You're so used to, did I make the right decision? And now you're just like, hmm, this feels weird because I don't feel like I care. I don't, I don't feel like I usually do. And it, it, it makes me a little uncomfortable. But that void was there to prepare you for the new, for the newness. So let everything die out because now you're in control of what you want to do and what you, how you want to move. Okay, so you're ready to be in positions to shine. You have the death card at the bottom of the deck here. So this is newness that's coming in. You're shedding old ways, old way, everything. You're taking control of the life. You're planning. Um, you have the king of cups here. And I just feel like you're in control now. You're emotionally in control. You're not triggered. You're not allowing um, your emotions to trigger you to make those decisions that you pondered on before. Okay. I was worried about how they may feel. It made me feel bad. So I did that. Or the feeling of not succeeding made me stop this. 
all that true experience and all that recognition here, now your spiritual journey is saying that's closed off. You've recognized it. You've learned your lesson. You're leaving it there. It sucked out. It went in the sinkhole. We have a clean, we have a clean slate. We're moving forward. We're not worried about that no more. You're controlling your emotions. You're becoming emotionally intelligent. You're learning your triggers. You're doing your shadow work. You're knowing, you're becoming more in tune with yourself. You're paying attention to your intuition. Okay. You know what you deserve. You know what you don't want, but you're not focusing on the things that you don't want. You're learning to focus on the things that you want. You're, look, you're learning to focus in on faith. You're learning on how to depend on yourself and how to depend on your spiritual team and how to recognize true love. You're learning to recognize who is really here to help and not pull you down, but to pull you up. And through this experience here in December, it's allowing you to gain more control of yourself, of your identity, of the way you feel about yourself and you feel about the things that you go through. It's allowing you to focus in on your strengths. It's allowing you to become more self-aware. It's allowing you to have more self-control. It's allowing you to take accountability. It's allowing you to be true. It's allowing you to be honest and it's allowing you to be happy. You're learning how to go through the emotions without being extra. Okay? Your cup is full. You're not you're not focused on the the, the nonsense anymore. Six of Wands. You're in the spotlight now. You're elevated. You crossed it. You you crossed the bridge. You cr you finally made it through the tunnel, and you're in the light. You don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, but you finally made it through. Success, completion, and alignment. Full alignment. Full happiness. New beginnings. Okay. All right. So let's close this out with the warnings. What are the warnings for December for my air signs? What's the warnings for December for my air signs? We got extra Joker. <laughs> Which makes me think of a free space on bingo. Or you could use any any place on the bingo to get your bingo. Okay? They're like, you can tag me in any time so we can complete this. Alright? So you have cheerfulness, gaiety, happiness here. Warning. Your warning is that don't be triggered. Don't get too happy that you blow it on your vices. Don't get too happy that you share the good news with the people who want you to drown. Okay? But you have a lot of great things here. Your whining is happiness, okay? A lot of joy, cheerfulness, happiness, okay? Let's see. All right, discovery, okay, degrees. So like I said, warning, some of you guys could be triggered to go back to school. Some of you guys could be triggered to write a book, to learn things. Some of you guys are learning emotional shadow work, okay? Those warnings are going to trigger you into this awakening as well. So don't give up on the shadow work just because December is coming. All right. I mean, warning, you're going to have somebody who's moving in towards you. But make sure you're ready for that. All right. To my Libras, Aquarius, and Gemini, so much love and light. I hope uh, you keep going and I hope December is prosperous for you guys. I love you. Until next time. Mwah.